first of all thanks for being here in my youtube channel a uh, two quick information about the field free to learn platform so first is the pen drive so from the previous year we started giving all my youtube videos what i posted on my field free to learn platform in the offline mode that is in the pen drive mode or in the sd card mode so if you want this pen drive or if you want sd card kindly whatsapp us we will give you all the details how to purchase and all the details will be given so whatsapp us and get all my youtube videos what i posted on my field free to learn platform in offline mode so where you can able to watch my videos without internet and second importantly so after getting this pen drive the test series will be activated that is all in one test package so inside that inside a quantitative aptitude you can able to see five topics on pipes and pistons that is five test on the topic pipes and pistons so don't forget to write all the five test either after watching all my pipes and pistons video or else if you already know the concepts of pipes and pistons so don't forget to write the test series always practice is more important so in case if you want to get the pen drive so don't forget to whatsapp us so friends, thank you so much and now let me move on to the topic of pipes and pistons. So friends, in this lesson number one on the topic pipes and pistons, so now we are going to learn introduction about this topic, right? So in this introduction, I will be telling you what are all the concepts, different concepts are there in the topic pipes and pistons. And before learning this topic pipes and pistons, why you have to learn time and work? Because only if you learn time and work, it is easy to solve the question in pipes and pistons and 90% of the concept of time and work and pipes and pistons are same. And what I will tell you, what is the difference between major difference between pipes and pistons and time and work. So all these things we are going to learn in this topic pipes and pistons introduction. So now before learning this topic pipes and pistons, I always recommend you to learn time and work first. So time and work, learn this time and work, be strong on each and every concepts of time and work because if you are strong in the topic time and work then you have completed 90 percentage of the syllabus on the topic pipes and pistons because 90 percentage of the concepts are same in the topic pipes and pistons when you compare with the time and work so if you didn't watch my time and work video so don't forget to watch all the videos so i think totally i've posted nine sorry totally i've posted nine videos on the topic time and work starting from lesson number one introduction till arithmetic progression because arithmetic progression cat level exam questions so i've posted nine videos totally in the topic time and work if you got the pen drive so inside that also i've given a separate uh, topic that is time and work you can able to see all the youtube videos there so don't forget to watch all the nine lessons be strong on each and every concepts in the topic time and work then solving a pipes and pistons will be very very simple so and one major thing that i have seen students facing difficulties while solving pipes and pistons even though they are strong in time and work they can able to solve most of the question i have seen students are struggling to solve pipes and pistons the major thing here is this happens only because of learning this time and work by two methods so traditional method students those who follow the traditional method you can able to solve all the questions in the topic pipes and pistons without learning shortcuts or without learning that lcm method i have seen most of the students will learn this time and work by lcm method or else unit uh, method one unit of work one part of work i have seen students those who are learning this method to solve a question that is from time and work if you know 100 percentage right if you are like strong in 100 percentage solving on all the questions of time and work by this lcm <coughs> sorry by this lcm or unit method then pipes and pistons is easy only if you know like 50 percentage of the question to solve solve in time and work by lcm or unit method it will be very very difficult to solve a question from pipes and pistons so friends according to me even in my youtube channel while teaching time and work i have taught you for some question shortcuts but for the same question i have taught you the traditional method why because only this traditional method will help you to solve all the question in quantitative aptitude so shortcuts will not help you always easiest method will not help you always only the traditional method will help you always to solve even the question is easy or even the question is difficult understood so always try to learn the traditional method if you are like 100 percent strong on the unit 
uh, the unit method or an LCA method, then you can solve the question on pipes and pistons. If you are not strong, if you know only 50% of the question to solve in time and work by unit method, then do not try to solve pipes and pistons also by unit method. Right? So try to learn any one method 100% and then start solving a question in the topic pipes and pistons. Right? So, you know, what are all the things that we learned in the topic time and workers? First, we learned in lesson number one introduction. So, lesson number two will be chain rule, right? So, chain rule. And lesson number three will be efficiency. And lesson number four will be joining concept. And five will be a leaving concept. And six will be X person, Y person. So similarly, I've posted nine videos on the topic time and work. So here, in pipes and pistons also, everything will be same. So let me take one example. Let me take efficiency. If you take an efficiency question, in time and work, how the question will be like, uh, A is three percentage, sorry, A is three times more than efficient than B. For example, I am three times more efficient than you then what is the meaning of it? I can work three times faster than you. Yes or no? If you construct only one wall in one hour, I will construct three walls in one hour. That is the meaning, right? If I am three times more efficient than you, which means that I can work faster. So similarly, tap A is more efficient than tap B or tap A is three times more efficient than tap B. What is the meaning of it? So tap A can fill the tank three times faster than tap B. Yes or no? This is based on pipes. So pipes is nothing but tap. Piston is nothing but tank. So here time and work. Time and work is based on person are working. Yes. So the same concept, right? The same logic, the same thing. Everything will be same in pipes and pistons. So only the difference here is here they will be talking about the persons. Here they will be talking about the pipes and the tap. Pipes and the a tank or a bucket or something like pistons, right? So third will be joining right joining concept in in time and work you may see the question like a and b starting the work and then after five days after five days of work the person c will join and then how many days it will require to complete a work it's based on a joining concept a same concept when it comes to pipes and pistons so tab a and tab b will be open for five hours after five hours a new tab that is tab c gets opened it's in the concept of joining, yes. There, it's based on A and B are working. The person C is joining. Here in the topic pipes and pistons, the tab A and tab B is open for five hours. And then a new tab, tab C is opened. The same or not? When you take a leaving, right? When you take leaving, for example, in time and work topic, you can able to see the person A, B, C is working for 10 days. So after 10 days, the person C left the job. When you take the same concept in pipes and pistons, Tab A, Tab B, Tab C. All the three tabs are open for five hours. After five hours, where the Tab C is closed. Same concept or not? Here the person C is leaving the job. Here the Tab C is closed. But the concepts you can see, the solvation method will be same. Similarly, leaving, joining, X person, Y person. Here it is based on X tab and Y tab. And you can see in, in time and work, for example, uh, one important concept are there in pipes and pistons. A tab C will be, for example, there will be two tabs, right? So tab A can fill the piston in 10 hours and tab B, both the tabs will be filling the tank, right? And there will be tab C, which is emptying the tank. This concept is important in the topic pipes and pistons. Similarly, a same concept of question you can able to see in time and work also. Two person, A and B are working. And the person C is demolishing. You may see the question, right? So A and B is constructing a building. And the person C is demolishing the building. So I have seen these kinds of questions. Concepts are same or not? He is demolishing the building. A and B are constructing the building. And here A and B, both the tabs are filling the tank. And the tab C is emptying the tank. Right? So concepts are same. Solving procedures are same. right? And even the equation, what we write on efficiency, joining, leaving, X person, Y person, most of the things are same. Then, then why and what for? We have to learn pipes and pistons separately. Yes, that was the question for many. Why I have to learn pipes and pistons? If everything is same, if 90% all the concepts are same, method is also same, then what is the difference? Then why I have to learn pipes and pistons as a separate topic? 
Yes, there is only one difference between time and work and pipes and pistons is number one. Just see here, in time and work, right? In time and work, you can able to see a question like, A can complete a piece of work, right? Piece of work in 20 days. You may see a question like this, right? A question starts like this. A can complete a piece of work in 20 days. B can complete a piece of work in 30 days. If both the person is working, then how many days they will take to complete a work? The concept here is, a can complete, just listen carefully, A can complete a piece of work, right? A piece of work. We don't know what is the work that is exactly doing. A can complete a piece of work. You can able to see the question like this. B can complete a piece of work in 10 days. That piece of work, we always consider it as one. Yes or no? In most of the cases, we equate with one or not, right? When you see the videos of all the time and work, in all the traditional method, we always equate the equation is equal to 1. Why? Because we consider the work as 1. In most of the cases, 99% of the cases, in the topic time and work, the work will not be given. He is completing a piece of work. He is constructing a building. Three persons are working a piece of work. Right? So that work, we always consider it as 1. In all the equation, you may see we have equated 1 equal to 1 equal to 1. But when you take pipes and pistons, right? when you take pipes and pistons, now you can able to see the difference. So in the pipes and pistons, tap A can fill a 5 liter tank. 5 liter tank in 20 hours. So now you can able to see the difference, right? Just see here, here a person can complete a piece of work. That work is not given, but that work he completed in 20 days. So we consider the work as one that constantly we for the every question, we consider it as one. But here in pipes and pistons, tap A can fill a 5 liter tank. You can able to see this may change in each and every question. For example, a 60 liters tank, 20 liters tank or 22 1 by 2 liter tank. It, this takes 20 hours to fill. Then if it is 60 liters tank, how many hours the tap A requires to fill? So friends understood or not? So that is the difference between time and work and pipes and pistons. In time and work, this work will also always be constant. We consider as one in most of the question. But here the piston capacity will be given 60 liter. 20 liter tank, 10 liter tank. In this scenario, you should not equate with 1. Why? Because the tank capacity has been given. So, in some cases, we have to use the different method. That's the reason I'm telling 90 percentage concepts are same. That remaining 10 percentage is only. Right? So, that's the difference between, I hope now you understood, right? What is the difference between time and work and pipes and crystals? Because my friends usually say, if I learn time and work, then why I have to learn pipes and crystals if all are same? So this is the reason, right? This is the difference. This is the only difference. So in, in most of the cases in time and work, we put one. So instead of putting one, we have to use the crystal capacity, 60 liter, 20 liter, etc. That's it, right? So and the one thing that you should, the concept, will not be there in pipes and pistons is work and wages in time and work you can able to see a concept called work and wages for example there are three person working a b c are working so after working for 10 days the person leave and then they complete a work in uh, 2 is to 1 is to 3 ratio then what will be the wages for the person c if he is working for two days then what is the wages so these kinds of uh, cases you can able to see in the topic time and work. But when you take pipes and pistons, this wages concept will not be there. Right? So you don't want to learn that wages concept and we will not apply that wages concept in pipes and pistons. Right? So that one important thing. And then mostly everything will be same friends. So while solving a question, I will teach you what is the difference in time and work. and. Uh, what difference we are making in pipes and pistons so that that will be easy right so you don't want to worry about it surely i will teach you pipes and pistons completely and i will make you to solve the questions all the questions whatever the questions that they are going to ask in your exams right so only thing what you need to do is do not learn the shortcut learn the shortcut right that's your wish if your teacher is teaching a shortcut learn the shortcut but ask this teacher to teach the traditional method also 
right if you know to solve the question by a unit method or an lca method so please learn the traditional method also right only then you can able to crack the question that they are going to ask in your exams that is most important because i have seen students keep on learning the shortcut can't able to clear the question in the exams that's the reason right learning the shortcuts won't help you some cases it will help you so i i never say that you should not learn shortcut you learn shortcut even in my videos i have taught you the shortcuts learn the shortcuts but one thing for the same question learn the traditional method right so that's it friends and this uh, lesson number 1 introduction on the topic pipes and pistons we have we have seen what are all the different types of questions they can ask you on the topic pipes and pistons and then what is the methods are there to solve the question and what method the better way if you follow the traditional method that will always be the better way to solve the question in pipes and pistons and i have told you what is the major difference between time and work and pipes and pistons right in time and work we always consider the work as one but in pipes and pistons in the question itself they will give you 60 liter 20 liter 30 liter tank so only based upon the piston the equation might change right but the concepts will be same at the efficiency joining leaving x person y person chain rule even the chain rule will be applied on the pipes and pistons so there it is based on person r day here it is based on tap a tap b etc right so that's the difference right and then one thing that will not be there in the topic pipes and pistons will be work and wages so friends that's it about this video i hope now we are like okay with what we are going to learn in the topic pipes and pistons so i will be definitely posting all the videos on the topic pipes and pistons i will try to post as much questions i can in each and every videos right surely i will teach you all the concepts so only thing what you need to do is practice is important so don't forget to practice the question what i said in the beginning of the video right so practice is more important so try to practice the questions so definitely you can able to crack the questions in your exams so friends thank you so much for watching this video and if you really like it share the video to your friends those who are preparing for the competitive exams so friends thank you so much bye